uh, Dr. Ting Ting Liu with the paper 119. Would okay. You, would you be ready to presenting us? Okay. Please share your screen. Thank you very okay. much. A second. So can you see my screen? Hello? Yes, we can see the your screen. Okay, okay. Uh, hi everyone. My name is Ting Ting Liu from Ningbo University. And today I will present our work on design and the user experience analysis by our intelligent virtual agents in smartphone. This is the outline of my presentation. Today, intelligent virtual agents have been used in many fields of human's life. For example, they can be used in the education industry, provide training or guidance to users as a teacher. And they can be used in tourism industry, provide explanations to users as a guide or a translator. They also can be used in the rehabilitation industry, guide users rehabilitation training as a medical staff. However, most of these virtual agents are designed for computers. But today, most computers are used for work or large games. People prefer to use smartphones for daily applications or games. As a small devices, a smartphone can be easily taken out and used as any time. They can provide users with the information they need in real time. There are many voice assistants in smartphones, such as Apple Siri, uh, Google Assistant, but these assistants can only interact with users by voice. They do not have visual embodiment. Some applications have tried to use visual agents, but those agents have no cognitive structure and cannot express emotions. So this is a virtual agent that can provide medical advice to patients. It was driven by script and had no impressions. Actually, it is just a voice assistant with visual appearance. So we can do more for those virtual agents. Besides the embodiment, we also can make them have emotional impressions and to convey their intentions to users through nonverbal behaviors. While in, in, in intelligent virtual agent press appreciate uh, emotions through facial expressions and body movements. They tend to trigger higher believability and are more welcome by users. Meanwhile, AR is also believed to increase user experience. How about a, a, an AR virtual agent with cognitive structure in smartphone to find out the factors that affect users' interaction experience. We explore that how do humanoid embodiment and the emotional expression of AR intelligent virtual agents in smartphone affect users' perception and experience, and the users' prefer preference for the agent. In addition, we also explore the impact of uncertain actions on believability. We designed three forms of agent. The first one is a voice assistant. It has no visual appearance and only can answer user's questions by voice. The second one is humanoid intelligent virtual agent with no emotion expression. She can answer user's questions by voice and can display appropriate nonverbal behaviors, but it does not have any emotion. The third one is humanoid intelligent virtual agent with emotional expressions. To prevent users preferring an agent due to the different appearances, we designed the, this one we call EHRVA and this one we call HRVA. So we designed the EHRVA with the same humanoid body as, as the HRVA. This EHRVA has human-like emotional expressions and can express her emotions through rich facial expressions and body movement. 
And this one with no emotions and uh, no body, we call it VA. To, to, to make the agent become human-like, so we conducted a cognitive architecture for the EHRVA, which consisted of four modules, perception, emotion, behavior, and behavioral performance as well as two databases, memory database and knowledge database. In this architecture, the perception module requires user, user's input, sends the process the information to the emotion model and store it in the memory base. Users can input information through voice. The emotion model is used to generate appropriate emotional response. Then the behavior model generates behaviors according to emotions and the behavior generation rules. Finally, the behavior, behavior performance model pre presents four kinds of action to the user, the voice, the text, the facial expressions, and the body movement. To make the body movements uncertain, uh, we, later, we later used the cloud model to add the behavioral performance to control an agent's on certain actions. This is the cloud model. The agent will have uncertain eye blink and body orientation with this model. Among them, the blink has two clouds, which are interval cloud and duration cloud. The cloud algorithm is listed here. So we can say the cloud model is controlled by three parameters. Expectation EX, Entropy EN and hyperentropy HE, which EX is the expected value of the cloud jobs. EN represents the dis dispersion degree of cloud jobs, and HE reflects the st st stability of cloud jobs. The, the certainty degree of cloud jobs is not a deterministic value, but a random number with stable characteristics that's on on that unifying fitness and uh, randomness. We can see from here, the proposed the EHRVA can express her emotions through two actions, uh, facial expressions, expressions and body movements. Here is a video that shows how EHRVA interacts with users. So you can see here is a museum and the agent here is a virtual guide to introduce ex exhibitions to participants. So when users say hello, and the agent say, nice to meet you. And users ask, what's this? And the agents do the introduction of this exhibition. To prevent her body from looking too stiff, we let her use some simple gestures to interact with users here. And when users say, uh, you do a very good presentation and uh, you see the agent will be happy. She said, thank you, and uh, very happy. So with this um, three agents, we can conduct above to uh, the user st studies I mentioned above. The user study one is we explore the effect of humanoid embodiment and user start to is study two is to find out the uncertain actions of RVA. In the user study one, we recruited 30 participants and you used the within subject design strategy. Each participant is asked asked to interact with about three agents. These three agents VA, HRVA and the EHRVA. The order of agents was counterbalanced with a Latin 
square, participants are asked to complete ex experimental tax tasks in a museum that we show just uh, now in the movie. To assess participants' perceptions and expression experiences, we use three measures, interaction data, questionnaire, and uh, semi-structure interview. Uh, for the interaction data, we recorded each participant's interaction time and the number of speech interactions with, the, with above three agents. And uh, the participants were asked to fill out a questionnaire after interacting with those agents. Uh, for each agent, after interacting with each agent, they were asked to fill out the questionnaire. The questionnaire was adjusted based on existing studies on agents and uh, has four dimensions, that is sensory dimension, social dimension, emotion dimension, and behavioral dimension. Uh, finally, we collect uh, additional qualitative feedback during the semi-structured interview. Two questions were asked to assess participants of over overall experience during the experiment. We use one-way analysis of variance to an, uh, analyze all quantitative data, which with the significant differences of p uh, smaller than zero point zero five. When the result shows that the differences is uh, statistically significant. LSD post hoc analysis is used to do the pairwise compar comparison. So this is our result. For interaction time and the number of speech interaction, uh, the values of N of us shows both of them have significant differences in those three agents. But when we use LSD to compare each agent, we found there was no significant difference between BA and HRBA with these two. And for sensory dimension, EHRVA and HRVA has a high rating on believability, attractiveness, and novelty compared to VA, while EHRVA was rated higher than HRVA. For social dimension, uh, EHRVA and HRVA were rated as a higher level of attentional allocation, involvement, intimacy, and empathy compared to VA. EHRVA was rated higher than HRV effect for attentional allocation. For emotion dimension, EHRVA and HRV have a high rating in terms of presentness, arousal, and dominance compared to the VA. EHRVA was also rated higher than HRVA. For behavioral dimension, EHRVA and HRVA were rated significantly higher for recommendation and continue to use than VA. EHRVA was also rated higher than HRVA. Uh, by, an, by analysis, the result of the interview, we also can say that EHRVA is more popular. The question one, what is your strongest impression after interaction with this agent? Should that an agent with bodies and are considered rigid and unattractive. Agents with bodies make users feel more real, uh, while emotions can make people feel more friendly. So there are some typical answers from participants. And for question two, which agent do you like the most and why? Only one participant said she preferred the VA and stated because this voice assistant introduces the exhibit more directly and not disturbed from the body. Other participants all indicated that they preferred the EHRVA, for example, uh, because the expressions and the movements are friendly and which I can feel a great closeness between her and me. Uh, in use, user study to evaluate the effective of the uncertain actions of the agent on its believability, we recruited 18 participants. The interaction scenario was same as the user study one. 
the two agents we compared is C RVA, that is RVA with certain actions of blink and body orientation, and you see RVA, the RVA with uncertain actions of blink and body orientation. Participants will be required to evaluate three variables of RVA's realism, blink, naturalness, and body orientation naturalness in the questionnaire. The paired uh, sample t-test is used to evaluate those two, two agents. The rating results show that the UC RVA has a higher rating than C RVA for realism and the naturalness. So through our experiments, we can say for humanoid embodiment, EHRVA evokes higher behavioral engagement from users and voice assistants, but the differences between HRVA and the VA did not occur. We can explain these results for, from interviews. VA and the HRVA were generally perceived a more uh, mechanism, thus reducing the motivation of users to interact. Humanoid RVAs receive higher user ratings than voice assistants on all dimensions, indicating that RVAs have effectiveness, effectively improve user experiences when communicating with users through nonverbal behaviors, which also have been reported in existing studies. For emotional expression, EHRVA evokes higher behavioral engagement and receives higher user ratings than HRVA. This result suggests that RVA can improve the user experience and pattern more to user preference when they convey positive emotions. It indicates that for smartphone-based RVAs, uh, emotional expressions play a crucial role in improving user behavior engagement compared to humanoid embodiment. For uncertain action, the humanoid in RVAs with uncertain action can effectively improve their realism and the naturalness. So we can conduct it that humanoid embodiment and the emotional expression of RVA could increase their belief, 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 believability and attractiveness, novelty, and positive affect users' social presence. Emotional experience and behavior intention compared to voice assistant. Humanoid in RVA with emotional expressions was more preferred by users and preferred higher level of behavioral engagement and better user experience. Uncertain actions could make humanoid in RVAs more believability, believable. So hope our findings can guide the design of intelligent virtual agents on smartphone-based AI application. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. First, great presentation. And now is we proceed with the question for the audience. If anyone, anyone has any question, place your hand and uh, we'll see this one their turn. Any question? No question. Well, thank you, Tim View. Thank you.